iMac logic board replacement for 21 and a half inch. Always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord. It's very important so that the power supply is not live. The tools we're going to need are a T5, T8, and a T10 screwdrivers as well as a Phillips head screwdriver, plastic and metallic prying tools, tweezers, a blow dryer, and M3 double sided tape. Begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac. Uh, it's glued on, so go ahead and heat it up for about 4 or 5 minutes to make sure it's nice and soft. And then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners. Please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here, there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen. So go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first. Um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal. When the glue is warm, it should be able to come apart pretty easily. Then you can wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going. Once the separation is started, you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen. Go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket. And then the actual uh, screen data cable. Go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that. With those two connections uh, unhooked, we can go ahead and lower the screen, but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double-sided glue that they have. So go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart. Uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool. Here. Uh, once you got that separated, you can just pull it right out. We'll need to remove this tape here that is uh, guarding the five screws behind it. Uh, that has the cable guard so you can just peel that away uh, We'll be putting double-sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit That will expose those five screws These are Phillips head screws go ahead with a Phillips head screwdriver remove the five screws that are securing this cable guard Always be careful and uh, put all the screws in the orientation you don't get them lost go ahead and start lifting it up should be able to come right out once you uh, remove those five mm -hmm. remove the hard drive bracket that's secured with four t8 screws uh, one in the top and one on the bottom of the left bracket and then one in the top and one in the bottom of the right bracket now let's be careful here and unplug this power button cable from the power supply and just untuck it. Go ahead and remove two T8 screws that are securing the power supply. There's one on the bottom right, one on the bottom left. Now you can lift the power supply out of its socket. Be careful, it has three connections. The first connection is to the logic board as you can see here and uh, that's the data connection. Now the next one is the actual power rails. You gotta press in that little tongue inside and pull it out. It's a little difficult, but uh, should be done in a pinch. And then the third final cable, you just pinch that and pull it out as well. The right speaker is being mounted with two T10 screws. Go ahead and uh, remove those. You can just loosen them up leave them in the socket uh, and go ahead and pull out that speaker that will expose the connection you can just unplug it from the logic board and then pull it right out of its socket to disconnect the Wi-Fi card we'll need a T5 screwdriver go ahead and remove the two T5 screws as you remove them you can go ahead and pop out those um, uh, antenna cables you can see here they just pop right out now on the bottom here 
go ahead and disconnect that little ribbon cable that's also connected to a logic board. We'll keep going around the contour and disconnecting the fan. Now go ahead and disconnect the uh, speaker cable that's behind the fan. Now go ahead and tug on that little lever and disconnect the eyesight camera. And that should free up all the connections. Now again with the T5 screwdriver go ahead and remove the two screws and we'll go ahead and remove this uh, Wi-Fi card for this uh, video so you can see that it comes right out just like that. You don't have to, you can just leave it in if you want if you're just doing a logic board replacement. Next the T8 screws, uh, there are four of them guarding the board. This one on the right, one in the top. one on the bottom here bottom left and then one on the bottom right and with those four T8 screws removed um, the logic board is almost loose we'll just need to remove this fan go ahead and remove these uh, three T10 screws that are guarding the fan with those three screws removed the fan should just come right out now with this uh, T8 screw, uh, we need to remove that, uh, that's the hard drive bracket. Behind it there's a cable so that we have to untangle, so go ahead and remove that one screw right there. Okay, and then you could just pull that bracket right out. And you can see that the SATA cable is kind of wedged in right there, just like that. You kind of untie it, there it goes, pops right out. Now we'll just need to untuck the SATA cable and the speaker cables. Get that speaker out of the way. And pull back on that and just untuck that SATA cable. That should free that up. Now we need to remove these four uh, T8 screws right here that are securing the uh, logic board in its last place to the frame. Go ahead and remove the two on the right and then the two on the left. Now with these four removed, you should be able to peel back the tape here by the fan, okay? And the logic board should come right out. Be careful when you're pulling it out. And there it is. The logic board installation for iMac A1418. If you remove the Wi-Fi card, go ahead and reattach that now. It just makes it easier before we place the board back. Go ahead and put the board in and its orientation uh, make sure you're not trapping any of the cables and just kind of wiggle it in there make sure it's sitting and aligned properly let's remount those four t8 screws first that are securing the board heat sink go ahead and tuck in that sata cable and the speaker cable behind that little metal bracket go ahead plug both of them in while we're at it now put the bracket in, make sure to put that cable into those little plastic notches that the way we took it out, it should be able to fit uh, in naturally. Go ahead and secure the uh, T8 screw. Now let's go ahead and plug in the fan. What we want to do is we want to plug in that eyesight camera first, click it in, make sure it's nice and locked, plug that fan in and then we can just drop it into its orientation and then secure it with the three T10 screws now the hard drive let's plug that in make sure it's in correct orientation and then just push it into its slot let's secure the logic board with the four T8 screws the one up top the one on the top right bottom right bottom left with those four secure go ahead and click in that little ribbon connect connector on the bottom there uh, it's an input connector now go ahead and secure the two T5 screws securing the Wi-Fi card if you were taking that out go ahead and click in the Wi-Fi antennas this you know takes a little bit of time and kind of frustrating but click in the first two then secure it with the screw and then the, the next two all right, here we go. Let's put in that speaker. 
the speaker slides right in make sure to weave some slack and plug it in first then stick it into its socket there we go now secure the two t10 screws that are securing the speaker now let's plug in the power supply the uh, four prong bottom connector first then the main side connector into the logic board and then now the third uh, data connector uh, of the power supply to the logic board so three places for the power supply once that's plugged in go ahead and tuck it into its slot make sure you're not trapping any cables and it comes in naturally it should align uh, and you shouldn't feel much resistance make sure you didn't trap the power button cable go ahead and secure the two T8 screws there one in the bottom right and then one in the bottom left again making sure you didn't trap that power button cable go ahead and plug that power button cable into the power supply and tuck it in so it's not sticking out along the speaker now put back the bracket for the hard drive the one on the left side and secure the two T8 screws one on the right side secure those screws as well it's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart go ahead and remove as much as you can try to get all of it make sure there's no gap make sure it's nice and flat plastic now let's go ahead and put back the uh, guard that guards all the connections uh, and secure that put that right in secure it with the five Phillips head screws okay now let's go ahead and put the double sided tape all the way around the entire contour especially all the places where we removed the previous double sided tape from the factory now sometimes you want to double stack that you want to put two rows on you put one row on and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know uh, material and then on top of that make another layer if you want to be extra careful now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old one make sure it's nice and clean aligned it so you can get a nice good seal make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections the LVDS or the screen cable that are in the display whichever model you have first this is the data for the display go ahead and put that in sorry about the blurriness here but you get the concept make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed now for the power you go ahead and click that in also again sorry for the bl blurriness now go ahead and clamp it up and that's it apply generous pressure making sure you get a nice good seal